In ancient times, many people believed that earthquakes were punishments sent by the gods. In the Zhou dynasty of China, they were taken to be disturbances of cosmic yin and yang, aimed either at dynasties, rulers, or the common folk. An earthquake, for instance, might be a sign that the gods were angry with the rulers for ignoring the grievances of their subjects. The first seismoscope was made in China in AD 132 by Zhang Hen, hundreds of years before the invention of the seismograph. Zhang Hen was an astronomer, mathematician, seismologist, hydraulic engineer, inventor, geographer, cartographer, ethnographer, artist, poet, philosopher, and politician. His seismoscope was called Hufeng Didong Yi, which means Instrument for Measuring Seasonal Winds and Movements of the Earth, and was able to determine roughly the direction in which an earthquake occurred. Hufeng Didong Yi was 2.8 meters in diameter and 1.8 meters high. On the outside were eight dragon heads facing the eight principal directions of the compass. Below each dragon head was a toad with its mouth open toward the dragon. When an earthquake occurred, one of the dragon mouths would release a ball into the open mouth of the toad below. The direction of the earthquake determined which of the dragons released its ball. The instrument is said to have detected an earthquake 650 kilometers or 400 miles away that wasn't felt at the location of the seismoscope. What was inside the seismoscope, we don't know because the instrument was lost after the Mongols overran China. However, there are some theories about how it worked. The most likely mechanism was tested between 2002 and 2007 by Chinese scientists and passed all the tests. Researchers believe that inside the seismoscope were a pendulum, a bronze ball under the pendulum, eight channels and eight levers that activated the dragon's mouths. When a shock wave struck the location of the seismoscope, the instrument moved in the same direction as the shock wave, but the pendulum didn't respond instantly. Because the bottom of the pendulum and the bronze ball were in contact with each other, the bronze ball moved in the opposite direction to the shock wave and fell into a channel. The ball moved through the channel and hit the lever. The lever moved the dragon's jaw and the ball fell into a toad's mouth, which indicated the direction of the earthquake.